I am here with Congressman McGovern. We are in Cuba, and uh, be, behind us what you see is Hemingway's house. The Congressman has been involved with this project for many, many years. Congressman, this is clearly a labor of love. Well, Why are you doing it? Well, because I think uh, this is a, 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 Hemingway's an important figure not only in Cuba, but in the United States as well. And, um, and this house was in tough shape 12 years ago when we began this project. And uh, Americans and Cubans working together helped uh, fortify the house, helped preserve all the documents. Uh, we're building a preservation workshop. Uh, we've recreated the, uh, the, you know, the, the gardens here that existed the way uh, they, did, they did when Hemingway was, uh, was living here. And I think that uh, it's a, it's preserving history um, is an important thing to do. And so I was, this, this has been a labor of love. And, um, and again, it's been a real collaboration during some very difficult times between U.S.-Cuba relations. You know, in 2002, I, I stood here with then President Fidel Castro. We signed an agreement to work together to preserve uh, Hemingway's legacy uh, here at this house. Uh, and it's been a success story. And my view is if Hemingway can bring the United States and Cuba together, you know, to rebuild this house uh, and to preserve all his documents, then Hemingway can be a force to bring us together and have better relations. That, that's wonderful. As some of you know, we came here to sign an agreement with the University of Havana. Uh, to start an exchange program and to focus on research in urban coastal sustainability and in uh, neglected diseases. And I have to tell you that the congressman has been instrumental in making it happen. So what, why are you involved in promoting those partnerships between Cuba and the United States, and especially at the educational and research level? Well, we think you know, creating those partnerships uh, is not only a benefit to the students, uh, at Northeastern University, we'll be able to take advantage of it. But it, it brings our two countries together. It's again, another example of collaboration that hopefully uh, will have an impact far beyond, you know, just the initial project. Uh, you know, last night, I, we, a bunch of us met with President Raul Castro and he brought this up. We talked about the Northeastern uh, agreement with the University of Havana. I mean, it is viewed as a big deal uh, here on the island. And uh, they view it as a sign that the relationship between the United States and Cuba is thawing, is getting better. So what Northeastern has done, uh, and will continue to do down here, um, you know, will have an impact on our policy. And I also think it will make it difficult for any president uh, in the future to move us backwards. I mean, these are important collaborations. Uh, uh, and the fact that there are more American students and faculty will be here in Cuba, and more Cuban students potentially could be in the United States, uh, that's how you create understanding. That's how we, you know, develop mutual respect for one another. So uh, I know it's a big deal, and I'm happy to be part of it. Well, thank you for uh, your help. On a final note, I want to uh, end with a personal uh, comment from you. Congressman McGovern is now a parent, as you know. His son Patrick is with us. But he told me yesterday that you have been coming here for many, many years. But when was it the first time that Patrick came with you? At what age? So uh, Patrick was like four years old when he first came here. Um, and it was really controversial because Patrick coming here was a violation of the economic embargo. So we had to jump through all kinds of hoops in order to allow him to come here. But uh, he still remembers uh, his visit here. And what he remembers is the music, uh, walking down the street and live music everywhere we went. Uh, and, um, and, he met, and, and some of the people that met him back then when he was four continue to ask me about him. When is he coming back? So maybe he'll come back as uh, doing a co-op down here for Northeast. And I'd love him to do that. So Patrick, did you hear that? <laughs> no pressure. Your, your, your dad wants you to come back and do your co-op here. Thank you, Congressman McGavin. Thank, thank you. you. have been a great partner, thank a great you. friend. Thank and you to thank you and Northeast of what you're doing. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.